Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. The World Series Player Program just dropped here in MLB The Show 21. So I'm gonna show you guys the fastest possible way to get through it. We're gonna talk about all the cards real quick here at the beginning, but then we're gonna show you the fastest way to get through it. So you guys do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You guys, make sure you are subscribed here this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday, 11 a.m. Central, we'll be giving away two, two, Autograph Joey Votto t-shirts here live on the channel. You guys only have to be subscribed to be able to win the first one. The second one is going to be available for members. If you guys are interested in becoming a member, you can click the join button below or the link in the description. If you're on an iPhone there, uh, you can click that link and it'll tell you more information about it. All right. So we're going to be giving away one randomly to members and then one also to subscribers that are live here at 11 a.m. Central on Sunday. All right, here's the program. Let's go ahead and get right to it, man. No commercial today, no ad. We're just going to go right to it, man. So here we go. We got 96 overall. Clay Holmes is going to be the first card that you get. There are 150 points, by the way, in this program total, uh, but some good rewards along the way. That World Series bat skin is pretty nice looking there, uh, especially if you're a Braves fan. Uh, you might be walk, uh, rocking that one pretty good. Uh, and then we got Giovanni Gallegos right here. Good card. These cards have pretty good uh, hits and Ks per nine on them. Uh, so if you guys want to check them out, you can go in here, game, and check them out. We're gonna we're not gonna talk about every single one in great detail. There are 14 cards. We'd be here all afternoon. So Jordan Luplo here, uh, first baseman for the uh, for the Rays. Secondary positions though on this one. Let's show that third base, left field, and center field. So you do have some options right there for him. All right, uh, for Brad Boxberger, this one is actually quite impressive, man. He's got 120 uh, hits per nine on this one. Um, so uh, great card, man. Uh, only a three pitch mix, fastball slider change, but great card. Gavin Sheets, first baseman. Let's show this real quick because he's got left field and right field on the card as well. Uh, but man, this could be a deadly little card. Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure how it'll be. We'll have to give it a try though uh, and see if it's uh, see if it's a good swing. Tyler Rogers, 95 overall. This thing's gonna be filth. Man, fastball slider sinker with that arm angle. 83 miles an hour with 99 break. That's going to be fun to deal with. Uh, it's going to be fun to use. It's not going to be fun to face, but wow, that's going to be nasty. That's going to be nasty. All right, so that one's going to be an interesting card. We did get a catcher, man, Christian Vasquez here for the Red Sox. So we did get a catcher. You can build an all all postseason squad, which is uh, which is important, which is important too. So uh, AJ Pollock here, left fielder uh, for the Dodgers. We got, that's a nice card. 99, let's look at the 99s real quick. 125, 115, 102, 118. Plays all outfield positions. Very good. Uh, I'm covering up the uh, the fielding, but it, the, the what you can't see is the arm is 85, 79, 88, 75 on the speed right there. So not a bad card. Framber Valdez here is a 90. It's weird we get a 99, then a 98. Uh, but I guess it's just the weird order. I don't know. This one's kind of weird. I, they didn't give him five pitches. They only gave him four. So uh, he's got kind of a weird mix. Uh, not not going to be that great, I don't think, in my opinion. But uh, Phil, uh, Phil Maton here. Uh, this is a good card. Interesting card here out of the pin. Uh, he's got a, a nice five pitch mix to use out of the bullpen with a lot of speed differentials. So you might be able to get some innings out of this card. Will Smith here. Uh, great card, man. 125, 109. I said we weren't going to go over them all. Then we ended up going over most of them. So uh, fastball slider curveball here on the three pitches for him. And that curveball comes in very slow, almost EFA style. Maybe, maybe if it was like five or six miles an hour slower, uh, but great card here for Will Smith. Ian Anderson. Now this one, I am interested in checking out uh but i thought they were going to give him a sinker and they didn't give him a sinker that's kind of a deal breaker for me man make that two seamer a sinker mlb the show that's what the sds needs to do that two seamer uh is not effective in the game and the, the sinker is just so much overpowered uh that it would have been great if we had that but unfortunate unfortunate adam duvall though here for the braves these final three cards are braves cards 94 104 112 110 he just plays center field first third and right field so a lot of positions there with diamond defense once you parallel him one time, you'll have diamond defense at every position. Pretty good card right here, man. I wish he had a little higher contact against righties, but it's a good card. Uh, Jorge Soler, here it is. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Woo! Take my breath away with this one. Uh, great card. Uh, the unfortunate thing about this is the fielding. The fielding at 73. Now, it's still doable, all right? But you're going to put him out there wherever you put him. He's going to, if you put him in the primary and right field, he's going to have silver defense. Um, man. Or that's bronze. Is that bronze? Is that bronze at 73? I don't even know. I think that might be bronze. 75 is when we get to silver, I think, with defense. Man, that's that's a little troubling in all honesty. That's a little troubling. Uh, yeah, a bench bat. A, probably the greatest bench bat in the history of MLB The Show because 
Uh, this this card is insane. Now, Quirks, did they give him like the uh, the bench quirk? No, no, because he was starting in most of those games, so he didn't get it. But man, that's a that's a good card. It's a good card. It's just unfortunate that the fielding the fielding makes him a bit of a deal breaker for some of us. Um, but great off the bench, like I said, great off the bench. He'll blast bombs for you left and right. Let's go over how the fastest way to get through this program is, though. It's going to be missions again, man. You're going to build a squad full of the postseason cards that you have from the previous programs. Do that. Do that because you're going to be able to fill out every position except catcher. Now, just put somebody else in there at catcher. Don't put another postseason card at catcher because you're going to want the strikeouts. And they'll drop the third strikes and throw them bad to first base uh, on those. So you're going to you're going to have a lot of errors and you won't get the strikeouts. Well, I guess you'll get credit for the strikeouts, but you won't actually get a lot of outs. Uh, so that's what you want to make sure you do. Uh, for this right here, you're going to have to get 20 Ks uh, with your postseason players right here from the programs. And then it is from the 2021 postseason cards. It's not old postseason cards. These are old uh, or these are all new ones. Uh, and then 40 total bases. Every time you do that, you're going to get 10 points repeatable. Now, while you're doing that, extra base hits with Atlanta. There's Braves cards that are postseason cards. So you'd be using these. You get some extra base hits. Seven of them is going to give you five points. Hits with Atlanta here is going to give you five points. So you're going to finish those. Uh, you know, about the same time, most likely. Saves with Atlanta. Uh, you can bring in that Tyler Matzik card and use that one uh, to get a save here. That'll give you five points. If you're having trouble getting the saves because you're scoring too many runs, go into Conquest. Go into Conquest and get the save. It'll be pretty quick. Uh, home runs with Houston. Uh, runs with Houston. And then strikeouts with Houston pitchers. So uh, you're just going to have to use uh, all of the uh, all of the Braves and Astros that you possibly can. It's going to get you extra points here along the way. And then stick to these repeatable ones. This is going to be the fastest way to get through it. Uh, you could go and do Conquest, but you're talking about an hour or so uh, to get through Conquest. So that's going to be a little bit long. It's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, pretty cool right there, though. I mean, it's a it's a really it's a really short map in all honesty. It's just two games. So if you need that save, go get that save and get these 30 points because that's going to be pretty quick, man. It's going to be pretty quick. You're not going to have a chance to get many missions done, uh, but you might as well take advantage of the uh, of the little ones that you can possibly in that. So great Conquest map there. For you to knock out now with this one there is also there's also some moments if you guys go do these moments you can knock these moments out and get these here too but sometimes moments can be a struggle for some people so if you don't like doing moments or you're tired of doing moments or you would just rather go in and uh and grind parallels at the same time with your cards that's why i recommend doing the missions here all right uh there are plenty of moments let's see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen total moments there's at least four points on each one i believe one of them had six points there as we were looking through it uh so you're going to get a, a nice a nice chunk of points here out of this if you want to do it that way if you like just grinding content that you've got um you know you can do it all you can do it all even after you've gotten through the program and finished it you can still get xp for doing the thing so go ahead and do that if you feel like it but the fastest way is going to be to knock out these missions right here while you're playing i would recommend doing the conquest map just because it looks like it's not going to take long at all to do there are no steel oh there's a steel four million fans game so you'd have to play a couple extra games if you did that but four games in conquest you'll be able to knock out missions at the same time so two birds one stone while you're doing that but hope this video helps you guys out if you have any questions about how to get through the program or you're struggling in any possible way you guys let me know and i'll try to help you out or maybe one of the other subscribers here can help you out as well do me a favor as always and make sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel man subscribe 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 and we'll catch you this weekend on sunday for the live stream and the giveaway thanks peace